Before we, before we go to break, um, I, I just want to say, and take this moment to say how utterly devastated we were to wake up to the news that at the age of 28, uh, Takeoff has tragically died. It is, it's heartbreaking to anyone who knew him and, and to all of his fans around the world. Takeoff was, oh man, he was funny and kind and... I was thinking about him all day, and I was thinking that my, my biggest feeling when I was around him was just how much he loved music. Like he just, he lived for it. And it was that love of music that essentially willed Migos into existence by recruiting his uncle Quavo to, to make songs that they recorded with, a, with Windows Movie Maker. And Quavo himself actually said that, that Takeoff was the strongest rapper in the group, and they, they, they called him Takeoff because he'd record his verses often in just a single take. And he was so proud of what Migos had achieved. And boy, did they achieve. They penetrated culture. Uh, and before their split, they, they really just became one of the most influential rap groups of this generation. They moved the needle in, in their own unique way. Like, Takeoff helped define trap music, and he put it on a, on a national Stage. He was from the north side of Atlanta, but he influenced the entire world. And, and he was always, always so proud of that. He really was. I was lucky enough. I got to spend some unforgettable moments with, with Takeoff over the past few years. He was an incredible guy, like warm and generous. Whenever I'd see him, he'd always call me Big Drip. And, <laughs> and he knew how much I loved that. And I, and I loved being around him and every member Every member of Migos, our thoughts are with his family and all of his friends. We have lost someone incredibly special today. We'll be right back, everybody.